Yeah. The rice you ate last night is still remaining. Yes. You can serve it this morning. Yes. Okay, see. Dish some for me, eh? And dish for yourself. There's no time. You need to push me to my begin stand so you can go to school. Okay. Oh? Come, let me start the food. Okay. So today, you know what we have today? Our midterm test. Yes. And so when you get inside your classes, no what? Noise. No making noise. No what? Fighting. No loitering. So what you do is sit down and wait for your teachers to come inside your classes. Are we clear? Yes. Are we clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Push me to my bedroom stand and go to school. No? So don't go late. No? Okay. Eating your meat already. I've told you, anytime you're eating food, eat your food first and eat meat later. I don't know when you eat anything. You don't know how you enter your mouth.
the time you're coming to school. On a Monday morning. Join them. I don't even have strength to talk. You hands. Big boy. Next time you come to school late. You're smiling. Kneel down. Next time you come to school late, I will give each and every one of you 10, 10 strokes. Nonsense. Go inside. Daniela, you again, on the Monday morning like this, after the long time meeting, you're coming to school late and not properly dressed. I, I forgot to wear my tie and socks while preparing for school because I was in a hurry. Oh, you forgot to put on your tie and your stockings because you're in a hurry. When I'm done with you this morning, next time you remember Mama, your hands. Kneel down, kneel down. Please, I won't do it again. Kneel down. You're always coming to school late. Ah! Ah! Don't waste my time.
especially for a girl. Mind my business. I'm yet to complete my week plan. Now you have something to plan. Still, when I used to have a chance, these students will not give some life Daniela, why is your face like this? I mean, you're looking so worn out. Wait, did they flop you again for coming late to school? No, for years now. Oh, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm tired and I'm hungry. No, no, don't worry. I did not make enough money today, but the one I made will be enough for us. So, uh, the soup you made, the noodle soup is still many. It was many small. We'll manage. Okay. So we'll get to the street, we'll use this one to buy uh, Fufu from market, eh? okay. no? and so we can manage. Eh? Okay, let's start going. Bring okay. your bag. Let me carry it. Thank you very much. Eh? I don't just know why you're so attached to this girl like that. She always looked her god dirty and all. Sometimes I wonder why you decide to make such a person your friend. Even stop me. You don't even know what she's going through. Your assumptions. She is just broke. A broke girl. That is what she is from my observation. So, because she is broke, we should not make her a friend again. You, who are the we you are referring to? Yeah, and I have a first. <laughs> my dear, answer your story. <laughs> you are such a silly girl. <laughs> I get her jaws. <laughs> Daniela! Daniela! Papa! Please come. Papa, you're, you're done? Yes, have you had your food? Yeah, I just finished it. Okay. Please. Go to Naka, the, the chemist. Eh? Tell him to give you that pain medication that he normally gives me. I'm having serious pain. What? But what? Papa, Papa, but... Oh, you mean his balance? Mm. Oh, Daniela, you see what I made today now? I did not make enough money. Eh? If I make enough, I will, I will pay him. Please help me beg him to give you. Eh? Maybe tomorrow if I make money, I will pay everything together. Oh? What was God. Is this how my life is going to end? My wife is gone. Now look at me. I can't even take care of my little daughter, Danielle. I used to be among the first parents to clear my daughter's tuition fee before the accident. But now, I can't even give her the basic things of life that she needs. this end. Give me this one. 
take this one. One in the morning. One in the afternoon. One at night. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Maybe if you're going to for stop. You don't do it like that, you don't go stop. Yes, sir. Daniel, good evening. Your father sent you again, right? Mm, sent you help me with the drugs. He's going to pay you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Let your tomorrow be your tomorrow. Yes. Because I'll be going to market middle of the week. Thank you. Mr. Gilbert, you asked me to exercise some patience till your last month ending. But it is already two weeks into a new month. Yet I have not heard from you. What is the problem? My Lord, why are you talking like this? The truth of the matter is that I don't owe you at all. I pay my husband ahead of time. I mean, sometimes I even pay a month or even two months before my rent expires. Is it because it's like this? Why are you being so hard on me, my God? This thing can happen to anybody. God forbid, it cannot happen to me. It cannot happen to me. Mr. Gilbert, I did not buy this land. Mold blocks, buy cement, pay laborers on the altar of mercy. Look, if I come back here next month, I don't see my money. I will simply forget about the relationship between both of us and throw you out of this compound. Okay, landlord. Good afternoon, sir. Uh -huh. Mama Kosi, how are you? I'm fine, sir. How is your husband? He's fine, but he's not yet back from the sea. Oh, extend my greetings to your family, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Tell him to take it as usual. Okay, fine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Mr. Gilbert, let me come back next month. If I come back next month, I don't see my money. I will, I will, I will destroy this your leg. Nonsense. This girl of yesterday is speedily growing by the day. She and her father think I'm running a charity organization here. The day I will ask for the dividend of my charity, she will know. Yo! What? Hmm. This one, Ogalando, is looking at me like this. And he's coming out from our compound. I am sure he has gone to harass my father as usual. <laughs> 